To make the cover, you can draw a rectangle from the top viewport, you can put it something like that. Okay, good. Now I will uh, type Alt and Q to isolate it. Then right click, convert to multiple spline. Select the vertices, select, of, uh, select all of them, then break. After that, you can select this spline, all of, uh, select all of them, then shift and move. Now from the new shape, you can move the vertices, something like that. Okay, good. Now I'll put Garment Maker modifier. Then from the panels, I'll click this panel, Alt and A, click this, OK, and that's it. From the left viewport, I'll move it here. I will make it something like that. And then I will move it up a little bit. Okay. Okay, now from the curves, select this one and this one. Create theme. Go to panels. Okay. Maybe I will just a little bit move it. Okay, good. Now I will exit isolation mode. Then I will put cloth modifier. From the rectangle is a cloth, and I will add uh, every object in our scene, and they are collision objects. Then I will press OK. Just wait a little bit. Okay, now I will click here. We will wait until it's the correct time to stop the simulating. Okay, maybe I will pause the video until it's finished. Welcome back. Uh, I'm just waiting to the correct time to f to stop the simulating. We will stop it soon. There are a lot of ways to make the cover folded, but I don't know I like this way. Let's see. Let's see now. 
I'll put shell modifier. Then I'll put turbo smooth. Good, but let's make it two and play with shell modifier. Okay, that's it. Maybe I will scale it a little bit. Okay. Now, I will select the pillow and put it, maybe another one here. From the left viewport, I'll put it in the correct place. Something like that. Okay. And another one. Here. And I'll rotate it. Now I'll put my materials for all of the objects. The same material. Maybe I will change the shell settings a little bit. So that's it, in another video we will render it. If you have any questions you can visit us on www.grok.net, thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.